awarded by the Council of the Royal Society of London on the recommendation of the Board of Officers of Earthly and honours the memory of Sir Edward Acton, who was a fellow of the Royal Society of London, was president of Earthly for 18 years, from 1934 to 1952, and who won the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1947 for his contributions to the knowledge of the art. The 2008 prize is awarded to Professor Conrad Eman at Stanford University for his contributions on wave particle interactions and electromagnetic coupling between thunderstorms and the ionosphere. He has made extensive discoveries in the area of light and discharges, wave propagation and scattering, PLF and LF remote sensing, satellite observations of plasma waves dynamics of the radiation belt, planetary plasma waves, and active wave injection experiments. His BLS group have carried out extensive observational programs at multiple sites across the continental United States, in Antarctica, in Canada, and on satellites. In addition, extensive theoretical modeling and interpretation work has been performed on quantitative modeling of high altitude optical emissions, known as brights, blue jets, and elves, on modeling the propagation and scattering of electromagnetic waves in the Earth's atmosphere wave guide, on other related electromagnetic wave and plasma physics problems. He has more than 250 referee papers in the ISI Science Index, which have attracted nearly 5,000 citations. He has nominated principally for his scientific contributions in three areas. Cyclotron resonant interactions between electromagnetic waves and energetic charged particles. Coupling between thunderstorms and the ionosphere by intense electric fields. And ionization of the lower atmosphere by intense gamma ray bursts. He and his team provided the first rigorous analysis of nonlinear cyclotron resonance scattering by VLF waves the lead to precipitation of electrons in the lower atmosphere, causing ionization perturbations. They have made numerous experiments using VLF waves and ground transmitters to detect and map these ionospheric perturbations, and hence also estimate the loss of radiation belt <coughs> electrons. As a result of this work, he has suggested that radiation belt electron population could be controlled by injecting missile mode waves from satellites. This would help remove these particles and protect orbiting satellites. Researchers influence policymakers to fly new satellite missions to test this idea. Discharges between thundercloud tops and the ionosphere were only recognized in the 1980s and opened up a new area of research. His team presented what has become the accepted physical mechanism for sprites. These are massive luminous flashes that appear directly above an active thunderstorm system that show how these arise from quasi-static fields produced by cloud to ground light discharges. He also found that signals from ground rays will have transmitted to heat the atmosphere and estimated the heating and ionization of the atmosphere by electromagnetic charges and lightning discharges. He then carried out the first polychromatic calculation of the interaction between land and land and predicted that there should be brief flashes of optical emissions. These were then detected and now known as ELs. It has been discovered in the last 15 years from satellites in space that the Earth itself emits short duration gamma ray bursts, termed terrestrial gamma ray flashes, <coughs> TTF. He linked a TTF to an individual lightning stroke occurring within 1.5 milliseconds of the TTF event, proving for the first time that the TTF was of atmospheric origin, terrestrial origin, associated with lightning strikes. He proposed that they were created by runaway electrons at relativistic energies driven by electromagnetic impulses from lightning research strokes. He also measured the intense ionization of the lower atmosphere as a result of gamma ray bursts from distant galaxies, which has been widely reported in the media. Going back to Sir Edward Atherton, after whom the prize is known, Sir Edward Atherton's extensive research in the, uh, amongst 
that rapid the extensive work of Young's first three papers published in the Proceedings of the Royal Society of London in 1923 and 1926. In these, recorded atmospheric phase skies from lightning were presented as well as experimental observations made of Aldershot, Cambridge, L1 in Egypt and Khartoum of the net changes of the Earth's electric field resulting from land and discharge. Thus, we see that Sir Edward was also interested in explaining lightning phenomena, and like Professor Enan, made observations relating to lightning discharges in many places worldwide. This adds an extra appropriateness to awarding Professor Enan the 2008 Amazon Prize. It is my pleasure and honour to present, therefore, the 2008 Amazon Prize to Professor Paul Thank you. 